Okay, x squared plus 1 equals 0. Solve for x. Go. Oh, this is easy. So we can take away 1 from both sides. Yep, and then? Then square root both sides. Ah, ah. How are you going to square root minus 1? Will's right. Think hard about this. Would x just be minus 1? Mm. Nope, because minus 1 squared is plus 1, not minus 1. So, is it impossible? Not impossible. Imaginary. Excellent, Sam. So basically, mathematicians invented the square root of minus one and said it's an imaginary number called i. So i squared equals minus one? And minus i squared also equals minus one. X has two solutions, see? But these are imaginary. Yup, not real. But if i isn't a real number, like, what's the point of it? Well, apart from letting us solve all sorts of equations, imaginary numbers help us represent rotations and oscillations. Uh, like alternating current. Nah, how can the root of minus one be related to any of that? Let's cover that in the next lesson.